moving to New Mexico without any real knowledge of what we would find brought fear and excitement into a decades-long comfortable lifestyle in a warm, sultry climate with an ocean breeze. But retirement had set in, family had scattered, and my lovely wife and I were bored to tears. We looked the world over, fantasizing, living on a deserted island, or on top of a faraway mountain maybe. We checked out Bar Harbor, Maine, watching the weather on live webcam. We looked at Colorado real estate, then we realized this was a very doable. But we needed to be careful not to end up homeless or end up in a place we were sure to hate. We ended up in Las Tuzas Valley, New Mexico, right outside of a little town called The Root, where we were overlooking the valley. We realized that there was so much wildlife and prairie dogs and ravens, lots of ravens, and I needed a new hobby. So I got into photography <laughs> and videography and YouTube. So the next video is about the ravens of Las Tuzas Valley. And wow, looking for stuff about ravens on the internet for this video reveals so much info, stuff I knew nothing about. The internet's great, confusing but great. You can find everything there. But what I was looking for was stuff about ravens. So let's get back to the stealer of the lot, the amazing raven. Ravens are everywhere around Las Tuzas Valley, and my house is also in Las Tuzas Valley. So when I took on this new hobby, making videos, taking pictures, ravens became targets of the Canon 77D, the perfect bird for practicing photography and videography. I kind of knew there were some myths and old stories about ravens, but had no idea of the extent of stories and myths I would find on the net. It seems every culture around the world has some story to tell of how the raven was instrumental in the lives of humans. Christianity, Native Americans, Greek mythology, and so many more. This story comes from the Native Americans. There's a lot of different versions of this story, the stealer of the light. It's handed down from generation to generation. So it seems the mighty raven is a shapeshifter who had a beautiful white feathers in the time when Mother Earth was shrouded in darkness. No stars or moon to light the night sky or bright warm and sun to light a new day. The raven flew into darkness. The raven flew in darkness <laughs> until one day he flew into a mountain. Crashing and tumbling down to the bottom, raven had had enough. Raven was aware of God of light, would never give away his light, so Raven designed, devised a plan to steal it. Raven flew high in the sky, searched and searched until finally he saw a tiny glimmer of light coming from the castle of the light god. Raven flew in the window. Using his shape-shifting powers, he turned into a pine needle and landed in the drink of light god's daughter. Using all his magical powers, Raven impregnated light god's daughter. A child was born, like God's grandson. Like God loved his grandson, even with pointed nose and few feathers growing here and there. But the child cried and cried, pointing at the box that held the lot. As much as grandfather, like God loved his only grandson, he would not let the child touch the box that held the lot. Daughter and mother who was in tears herself, finally gave in to her son's wishes, picking him up so he could touch the box that held the light high on the shelf of his own. <clears throat> as soon as the child, child's hand touched the box that held the light, he shapeshifted back to Raven and flew away with the box that held the light. Like God, a shapeshifter himself became a great eagle. He flew after his light, something he would never share. Raven flew to the tallest mountain, the light god in hot pursuit. Light god caught up with Raven and a great fight in the sky took place. In the great fight, Raven dropped the box that held the light. He flew upside down attacking the great eagle, god of light, fighting from above. Raven 
fought off like God as the box that held the light fell towards Mother Earth. The box that, that held the light broke apart on the highest peak of the highest mountain, shattering the ball of light held inside. The smallest pieces flew into the heavens and became the stars in the night sky. Another larger piece flew into the heavens and became the moon. But the great ball itself flew even further into the heavens to light the earth with warm beams of light and became known as the sun. The great eagle with the very last of his magical power turned raven's beautiful feathers from white to black so he would forevermore absorb the light. And ravens do absorb light. I guess that's why I love the challenge of photographing them.